then definitely. I don't know if Seeker could even run some offensive tri lane with their Dazzle. And it's not that easy, but I mean, as long as you have a hero who takes over the, the off lane yeah. when you go into jungle, then I think you can do it. Yeah, so very situational, but if the stars align, and yeah. more so than not, it seems Empire. RTZ going in mid. But yeah, he's going in deep here, and it looks like he'll get it. Oh. First blood, he does lose his own life, but certainly worth as he gets the XP and the bonus from the first blood. So he'll come back probably promptly, TP back to that mid lane. And yeah, it's Secret who technically strike first, even though both mid laners do go down. Yeah, and I'm thinking, I think in this matchup, I actually think Magnus can do quite well against Sniper. I mean, I played a lot of Sniper, and I think Magnus is one of the heroes that can actually do quite okay, but I think he should get a Star Shield, and now there he did, but he didn't have it before. It's a huge battle at the same time, breaking out bottom lane. A big heal bomb comes out, and Matama Man, going to be able to get that kill, takes down S4, as everything just kind of goes a bit chaotic. Lane. Arteezy currently top CS side by side with Zai at about 20 and 7 for him. So he's definitely finding a lot here. Magnus can't really do much to really get a hold of the sniper. Maybe level six if the opportunity lines up and he gets a good skewer setup or has a plus one to help him out. But for now, he's just going to have to kind of do what he can to get shockwave punishment. But here comes Kuro, and there's a telekinesis lift back. Arteezy continues to pot out the shots. Juan is going to be pop. He lives temporarily. But here comes Valix, moves Whoa. in. Oh, he gets him there. The heal help. Arteezy goes down. It's a one-for-one -one trade again. But here comes Trixie, and they get the dazzle. Ends up being a two-for-one trade, an advantage for four anchors. Yeah, and Kuro gets out with 60 HP, running all the way down. But I think that was actually if they can get this kill. Oh, he oh, whips the RP. Oh, no. RP not there. Ball lightning at the same time, and it just ends up being a bit awkward for Nemphi. He's got to try to run, and he can't even go up to the high ground. There's where Zai is. Gets healed, gets repelled, but it's not going to be enough. Nemphi ends up going down, and oh, well, Zai, he actually wants Boogie with no mana. He's going to try his best, but he does have that wand. Pops it, heals himself, and Zai does not want to overstay his welcome, so he's like, I got to get the hell out of here. And that was he well saved by Boogie. Yeah. He touched the... He healed himself and dodged the uh, top. Use it towards the top, yeah. Okay, Trixie gets shot. S4 should be easy cleanup, but with that repel, oh, he nice. won't be able to make it away. But then they know Boogie's nearby. They go on to him, but he's just going to have to be the martyr and accept the fact that he did save his axe and will sack his own yeah. life. Unfortunately, Bane ported up there as well and didn't achieve anything. Yeah. Uh, so it was a bit of a wasted port. Maybe he could uh, smoke himself and the axe, though. Once he gets six, he could smoke himself and try to get a kill on the... Uh, Omni and take him down before he... You know, is there to kind of help his team, or do you just have to worry I about I think they wanna, they wanna put down some shrapnels before the fight, so X can't blink and save for Meg. Oh, initiation on Zai. Yeah, they got a nice Fiend's Grip set up on Zai with the blink and call on the back line, though. S4 trying to go to work on the Valix. There's gonna be that Guardian Angel now popped, and they also got the Repel. Stolen Guardian now gonna be returned from Kuroki, and they take down the Omni Knight. Now Nephi shows up, a whiff on the Skewer, holds out on the RP. When it's all but said meanwhile, on bottom lane, we missed the kill. The yeah. juggernaut looks like it looks like he solo killed the sniper down there. Yeah, all right. The same I guess moment. he must have came from. Yeah, same yeah, for the jug. Dyer's top tower is under He's good. Attack. Yeah, jug two and zero. Oh. Already had that mask of madness. Dyer's now has a Yasha by his side. Qualified. Speaking of blink daggers, also Zai just picked one up. Uh, even getting it before finishing out the bloodstone here. But he's going to use it to go right on Trixie. Double rotation from the rest of the. Deny on the tower there. Whoop. Goes to the low ground and yeah, Dyer's nice deny. Comes out from Zai. And Trixie's yes. still trying to get away. Blink forward. He dodged the sniper ult there with his blink just mm -hmm. now. Let's see if he makes it out. Oh, that RP is oh. online. Gets Double both. RP. Very nicely done. But Puppy there to try to help out. They scare him away. S4 trying to run with the bits of mana he's got. Omni Slash does fly through. Connects on both, but not enough to finish anyone off. That weave. Bringing in so much armor. they actually got the extra bit of durability. But there we go. Valix gets it done with the brain sap. S4 will go down. That was a long-winded fight. Not a lot of casualties from either side, but four anchors continue to just get little by little the better end of these skirmishes. Yeah, uh, they they're actually somehow getting the better of these. I didn't even see how he got him, how he got the storm there. That was a quick hit and run right there from Zai. He just jumped in, did all of his Up spells, top. and well, axe and Bane going on the dazzle. Yeah. Puppy turns the corners, trying to hide out. And get the call off. Uh, oh, wow, is. yeah, they whiffed the... I mean, they used the grip as well. They didn't really have to do that. And the self seek apparently? Oh, oh, yeah, takes two ults. It's just for a support dazzle. I think Puppy is going to be okay with that if it creates a bit more comfort for the rest of his cores to not have to worry. That's in his stash. Ah, all right. Sometimes I see, like, burning. When he plays Jug, he'll get up a... Like a Sanjin Yasha build with the Shadow Blade, and he just loves to move pretty damn fast now. 
Lapel on forward. Instant on the... Oh, it goes oh, to the neutrals. Wow. Bad luck there for Matumba, man. But they might still be able to get the kill. No, Shallow Grave comes out. Puppy's going to get Fiends gripped. And look at Kuroki. He's going to be walking away. Still alive for now. Not the same luck, though, for Puppy as he will be dropped. Arteezy but... in trouble, too, now. Yeah, now he's on a bad spot. There's the blink forward. Action all over the place. His eye's going to be able they to finish the off Omni the Omni though. Knight. Yeah, on the backside. But Arteezy going for the TP. Can they stop him? They can't! He is gone! Oh, he man. Didn't. He could have used RP there to get the kill. And I think that definitely would have been worth it. Yeah, well, yeah. Now they lose, they lose two heroes instead and don't get that sniper. Seems that to was be really, there. really big for Secret yeah. to get away with that. That shouldn't have happened either. They take down two. They only lose... Three here. A bit at least. And even they have the Aegis, so they could take the fight. In mid lane, Kuro is going to go down to Trixie as well. Yeah, good I think they should actually it. keep going here. As Kuro falls, four anchors. Stop adding pressure towards the top lane, maybe hoping that someone from Secret will peek their head out the front door here. Size the closest one. Matama Man, I don't know if it's enough. He's going to start with some good crits. And there, the Omni Slash will finish him off, man. That and power as well. He hits like a truck. Breaks right through the steel cage of Zai and takes him down. Good quick pick for them, and they'll profit by picking up what looks like a tier 2 from it. Yeah, but they're giving up their tier 2 top here, and I think even if they get the kill there, I still think it's a better choice to actually go for the tier 3 bottom, because I think they're kind of just a bit scared of going high ground, but I think it's... They're more scared than they actually have to be, because they're a lot stronger right now fighting-wise, even though the gold graph isn't that uneven. I mean, they have a 3k gold lead, they're still a lot stronger in fighting right now. Jump in from S4, trying to go to the back line and see who's there. Connection from the Assassinate onto Boogie. And S4 will still manage to find his way, or will he? Gets called out from Trixie here. Meanwhile, Jug chopping away, going in the front of the base. We have two different fights splitting out here. Looks like your first life of oh, Jug, who's stuck on his down. own. And they do get S4. Guardian Angel now to come out. Immediately going to be stolen again from Kuro. They do have it in use. Trixie, who's been left in the base, is trying to find his way out, but he is getting kited and slowly brought down from Arteezy and the two supports. He will go down. Valix, one of the last around, along with Matamba Man and the Magnus. He gets Puppy asleep. Kuro, oh, not quite in time with the Guardian Angel. Does not save Arteezy. Puppy, still alive, shallow grave. They end up getting the kill right there as Omni Knight gets it dropped. Zai, trying to move in. Good sleep, good brain sap as they're able to finish off the Dazzle. And now it's Valix trying to get away. He will not have anywhere to go. Double kill for Zai at the end of it. And my God, Pycat, that was all over the place. It's really hard to say who comes out on top. <laughs> but Matoma Man does live, but Secret did lose Sniper and S4. Yeah, and they lost the Timber too, and he, he died. 30 of that second life, and then making a push towards the high ground while you still have the power advantage is probably the best interest here for four anchors. What do you mm -hmm. think, though, for Secret? Do they just go on these expeditions and try to get a couple of picks to... Get that yeah, they should away. try to get a kill. Maybe if they can get this jug here, this is going to be really big. They oh, are going to get him. Very big. Very easy, almost, it looked there. That's Kuro using that blink yeah. dagger. Valix is nearby. And they might get another. Yeah, they have a, a ward down near the secret shop. He does, does a self-sleep. Oh. Big jump in from Trixie. Catches three, and they might get S4. Oh, the jump to the ancient stack will help him out. But Zai, he thrives on this close-quartered action, and he gets three immediately on the timber saw. That Bloodstone now building up the charges and Trixie trying to make it away, but he's just going for a desperate TP and he actually makes it out with a hundred life to spare. But all of his friends are now dead. Four go down from the side of four anchors. Secret lose aggressive ward here up on the high ground. And yeah, this is good. We'll wait, Hasn't been spotted either by 4 AC. They are uh, smoked up though and heading towards that top lane. They have the potential. I mean, they have these big boys here in your Magnus and Axe. They can lead in with a big catch. Lead in RP. They should know, though, because he just got empowered. Oh, they got Matama oh, Man, though. Lord. Guardian immediately, though, going to happen. That's the Omni from Kuro flying about from both sides now. Double dunk from Trixie to finish them all off, and they get Arteezy. Almost an unintentional baited opportunity there from Matama Man has led to disaster for Secret. They did not anticipate the, f the whole four anchor squad to be there right behind, so they thought they had another easy jump on the jug, but that is not the case. What a turnaround for four anchors as they now take four from Secret. Yeah, really good counter initiation, though. I'm very surprised the Secret didn't notice because the jugger, he just got empowered, and they must, they should have caught that because. I mean though, you got your timber saw, sniper in good position. This could be a serious bloodbath soon. It's first doing the right thing though, pushing out a top lane. We see Juggernaut almost got initiated on there in the mid lane. I think Kuro wanted to jump him and try to burst him with the timber. But I think that even though top lane is pushing in, I think they should just go road right now. And they are 
probably gonna pick up on that because they can kill Roche really fast. Yep. They but Secret are they're they're gonna come, and I don't know how many heroes got caught in that beef. It's just the Omni Knight looks like, but it's gonna be very low armor when they come. So this could be a good fight for Secret if they can just take out the Jugger. The weave does help out lead in with some good vision from afar, but yeah. It if they wanted it for the fight, it's not going to be very valuable to only get it on the Omni, but... Tell man, a lot of pressure. Oh, quick jump in. There's going to be the immediate heal and Guardian Angel to save him. Can they do a counter fight to make this worth it, though? Trixie moves right into the fray of four secret members, trying to keep them back and away from the rest of the fight. Now Omni's going to fly out, does finish off Dazzle, and they continue forward. They want the sniper. Arteezy in trouble. There's the dunk. They take him down. Another heal coming out from Boogie. Saves Matama Man, and now Zai. Desperate to try to get away from this. Trying to make his way through the trees, but Trixie gets the call and takes him down. Double kill from Matamba Man. Four anchors, another big fight for him, and they are going to be able to... to those two items, and he's dealing a very low amount of damage. And the point booster, I think that's like 8k with the Aquila, almost 10k, and he deals very, very little item uh, damage considering the items he has. Oh, Memphis. Oh, Not going to be able to get the catch there. Kuro. Throws him up, assassinate, wow. uses the skewer on him and puts Ooh, him back okay. into the enemy territory. Wonderful play there. Unfortunate catch there from your Magnus, but here we go. Boogie immediate TP after his repel. S4 trying Again. to jump forward, and Matama Man is just going to Shadow Blade away. Valix, though, still there, able to blink away. S4, man, he is just going all in with the mana to get a hold of him. But there's the jug. Pops up, gets the Abyssal. Telekinesis from Kuro. Matama Man, very low on life. Same goes with Valix. Valix will get shot. Boom! He goes down. And here comes Trixie, gets the call and is trying to pull and get Zai away here, but Zai is persistent, moves forward, skewer back again from Kuro, now on to Trixie, who pops his BKB, my well, the jug going for the timber saw now. And here comes Mag, back from the dead, buys back, moves forward, gets the skewer, pushes Zai away and they get the kill. And four anchors want to charge right back towards the secret base it looks like, but S4 is going to be back very quick as he had that blunt stone. Yeah, Ags now on Kuro. This is this is really big. If he can get the GA, I mean the group, the Chugger old, he he's he's trying to keep secret in this game really a lot. He's he's playing really well. And being a support Rubik, that says a lot. If your support Rubik yeah. is trying to keep you in the game, he must be having an all-star showing. Oh my god, another skewer as he brings back the axe. They're going to try to take him out immediately. Zai buys back to make the fight happen, but there goes the Omni. S4 goes down. Zai yeah, now. he steals it. He gets it stolen, and it's an Ags. Boogie trying to walk away very low on life. Kuro on the back end of this glorious Guardian Angel is going to take him down. Artizi gets that last hit, a little bit of an extra boost, but four anchors. They were able to clear out one Rax here. Range is still going to stand in the mid lane. And then go high ground. What does make it hard for them to remove that vision is what I didn't notice is in that last fight as well, Boogie did drop the gem. So that gem now in the hands yep. of Zai. Secret are going to try to take control of that map right back as they push this bottom lane here. They have everyone in for this. They How make much? the jump. Oh, he goes to the low ground to get away. S4 persistent. Oh. There's going to be the catch. Guardian Angel does come out. And now, Hell will be unleashed here as Secret use their own Guardian Angel. It's Guardians all over the place here as they fly on back. Boogie eating the soak of the damage. There's an RP that does connect wow. onto three. And they're going right for Secret. They are able to burst down S4. Zai's got to get the hell out of there, but not before he's able to burst right through Trixie. Killing spree for Arteezy. Ah. He goes down right after, but four anchors only lose the one, it looks like. For now, Puppy, barely alive, shallow grave. He will go down to the chop. And Zai, the last alive here, is going to try to just get the hell away and should be able to do so here. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Four heroes. That's a good All RP. He gets it. It took a while, but yeah, he got he it. That was a big one. And plenty of yeah, and I think that's why they're cautious, too. Yeah. They're waiting a bit. Ooh, this is a dangerous position for Mag and Storm. He doesn't want to be up there. Yeah, good, but he goes down. I'm curious who they give the Aegis to here, though. I would have wagered the Jug because he's not his buyback, yeah. Yeah, he I guess his the mask. Oh! Take oh! Almost gets taken. Jug does S4. grab it, and wow. he just goes down. Oh, S4 tried to make a clutch play, and it ends up being a bit of a face roll. And now it's Kuro. Self fuels. He should go down there after. Gets the repel, but it doesn't matter anymore. And look at this, it's four anchors now. Looking to clean house. Omni flies out onto Zai. He goes down. That's the gem on the deck. Triple kill from Matama Man. Puppy will go down thereafter. Oh no, that is not the contention that you want to make in the Roche pit. And four anchors now. And if it's by your prediction, 
This could be game four. Very close. Almost looked like a photo finish to get the snag, but now it's four anchors going for the last hurrah here. This is an upset for game one in the making. Trixie does get caught, pushed away, put to sleep. BKB going to be popped. Boogie able to dodge out with the Yules. S4 trying to focus fire him while Arteezy now puts himself in position to dish out the right clicks. Trixie in his face. Nemphi mega kill as he finishes off S4. And now Arteezy in trouble as the mag moves forward. Still getting off good damage though. Trixie falls down, buys back. Potentially to TP in, looks like towards the mid lane. Nemphi, can he walk away with his life though? No, he gets taken down. The stolen shockwave, ironically, is what finishes him off. Trixie back from the dead, committing with the dive. Side by side from Matama Man. Can they get Kuro the grave? Saves him. He's able to walk away. Now Matama Man got to get wow, the hell Trixie. out of there. Trixie cannot Trixie go down. Him. Good. I he think does. it's better that Trixie dies than Matama Man, but let's see if he actually can make it up. Oh, well, he's got the healing ward. Zai is on the hunt, but Trixie continues to keep he them has the away. Ult too. Yep, there's the ult. This. Two ults in the span of a long fight come out. And Zai now could end up going down again. This is the buyback lives of Team Secret here. And it looks like Zai will end up being recycled there. Kuro, though, here he is. Fade Bolt going from Tomba Man. Blink in Blade Fury. I think he should just fight Kuro here. Ooh, yep, he's Probably just like, him. no problem. Slashes him I down. I think that's game. They have Mega Creeps, and I'm pretty sure Secret will call it in a second. Well, they're going to go but, with one uh, last yeah. dive. Just yes. not ready to give up yet, it looks like. Kuro maybe not but I agree with Melk there. Uh, very uncharacteristic uh, play from S4, I feel like he doesn't really use... Yeah, GG called. Right. He doesn't really go for those plays in the road fit. I don't think they had to do it either. And so... I am surprised that he did that. Because I don't think they needed to do it. It didn't feel like it was like, we need to get this Aegis or we lose kind of a situation. But because of that result, that pretty much was the nail in the coffin for them. So, you know, it's it's not over yet for Secret. It is a best 